So, today I am going to go to Walmart and do kind of a mini haul because when I went shopping I forgot a lot of things. Not, not too much, but like significant things like aluminum foil need that for cooking because I'm not washing no pans. And then uh, watermelon. Kids want watermelon. I had one. It wasn't great. Um, it was okay. But it wasn't that sweet. And I don't like them if they're not that sweet. So that's where we are going right now. And I also have to get hair clips because my daughters think it's fun to take them all and not leave any in the drawer I keep them in. I went to do my hair this morning and I could not find elastic for the bottom of my hair, but I I searched through my house and that's where I got them from. I'm hoping you can hear me because I do have the air conditioner on. It is very hot. Um, and I have not filmed in the car before, so we'll see how this goes. Um, and then I'm gonna get some cross-stitch fabric. I think that's what it's called. I've only used it a couple times when I was like younger, probably like 13 years ago younger. And um, I always had a pattern, but this time I'm going to try to make my own and see how that works out. So I got to get the floss for that and the fabric and I think that's it. So that's what we're going to do today. And then probably stop at Dunkin' Donuts and get me coffee and get some coffee for my mom because once I'm all done videoing and showing you guys my little haul, I'm going to her house. I usually go see my mom every day. Um, the only times I really don't go over there is like usually Sundays unless it's a holiday or something because that's usually the day I take care of stuff at the house and get into all those things like cleaning real good. I'm going to clean up during the week and stuff, but that's, you know, the day I can actually sit there and focus completely on that. And then, like, you know, just do some things around the house, and that's pretty much it. But most of the week, I do go see my mom. The kids see her a lot. They stay over there a couple times a week. That's where they are now. And, because uh, I don't take them to the store right now with the pandemic still. And I know some people are more comfortable, you know, to each his own, but I don't feel comfortable taking the kids to the store. I don't even want to go to the store. I still get scared of getting sick because I I do have a lot of health problems and um, I am a high risk. If I got that, like respiratory problems, I have asthma. Like today I'm having a hard time <clears throat> with just my allergies and stuff breathing with how the weather is today. And I can imagine how much worse it would be if I ended up getting sick. So I do try to be very careful when I go to the store um, but I don't feel comfortable bringing the kids same thing with school that's why they are doing virtual school this year and they might do virtual school the next school year too if I still don't feel like it's good enough out for them to go out there and safe enough so we'll see how that goes um, stuff that's been going on we went to another event last weekend and me and Chris did not do very well. We did okay. Um, we had gone to this place once before and did very well. And when they had another event, we figured, oh, you know, we'll go again. We'll probably do very well. Maybe even better because, you know, it's summer people, you know, they are loosening restrictions of things. They do want to go out and shop and look at things. So. Um, went to that one and it was so hot. It had felt like it was 100 degrees outside. And it was an outside event. That's usually the only ones me and Chris do. Um, where we live in the winter, they don't really do much outside just because it does get very cold where I live and it does snow. And it's just, it's too much. Um, we did one market where they were giving you the option where you could stay out and do the market until like, November, December, and there's some people that do, um, I cannot, because even though it's not, like, super duper, like, below 30 in the day, when you get to those places at, like, 6 a.m. to get set up and get ready, and the market opens at, like, 8 or whatever, and you need time, it is freezing. It, it might not, you know, going to the store, walking around, doing things like that, you might not realize, you know, it's not that cold then, 
<clears throat> but when you're sitting outside for a couple hours, you're freezing to death. I was all bundled up, gloves and everything, and I was like, I don't think I can keep doing these this late in the year. Inside ones, they'll start doing then, but, you know, and in the winter time with Christmas and everything, me and Chris are so busy with our online sales, it's not like we really have to go to those things. Um, usually it's for the stuff I make that I don't send online. Like I just started doing the stained glass, which I will show, I'll put a clip in there to show you guys the crosses I did. They're okay. Um, I'm just learning how to solder. It's not like great, but I mean, it's good to me from what I've seen in videos and how I'm getting it done. It's okay. I don't want to send them online because I'm scared they're gonna break in the mail. And you know, some people, when they do get things, some people, are like, you know, this isn't exactly like, or, you know, oh, you just don't want problems online. <laughs> Me and Chris try not to, when we send stuff online, we try to make it pretty, pretty perfect so nobody's going to have a problem with it. <laughs> perfect to us. Um, and no one's going to end up sending stuff back or, because that's just a pain in the butt because then you got to go through all that. But, so for right now, I think I'm just going to sell my stained glass items in person when we go. Um, at Christmas time, I sell usually like, wooden ornaments and stuff like that. I don't sell them online because it's really, I don't sell them for too much. And it's just something nice to get at like a craft fair or a Christmas market. People like that stuff. I know I like that stuff. So, but anyways, that was what we did last weekend. We went to a market, it wasn't great. We'll go back to our regular market that we do in between our big events <clears throat> next weekend. And um, that'll be good. Besides that, uh, we haven't had too much going on. been take care of the garden um, I know I was a little lax with some videos and sometimes <laughs> I think I have like it's been like two weeks since I posted one and sometimes I think it's just with everything going on and you know the kids are home now for summer and sometimes I get a little down and when you're down you really don't feel like filming your life <laughs> so but uh you know, that was just for a little bit, and um, I'm feeling better now and feel like actually, you know, participating, and um, I'm not a phony baloney, <laughs> so, you know, I try to keep it real, but that's why it's been a little bit, and sometimes that'll happen. I mean, I, I know everyone gets those days where they just don't feel like filming themselves or talking, and they just want to stay inside their little house cocoon, and that's fine being a person so but that went on and then taking care of the garden like I said with the rain that has been like just killing the garden it has been ridiculous like everything's doing okay like everything's not ridiculous like oh it's getting over water like everything's looking all right it's just like I can't do anything out there when this happens I can't like do the pest control and stuff to keep the bugs out there. I can't set my traps to try to keep the slugs and stuff off of the plants because it's not, it's just going to wash it away. So that's very frustrating. And I mean, my pepper plants, which I forgot to show you, damn it. Um, I didn't really show them to you because it's not a big deal at this point. They're not flourishing. There's no peppers on them. There's really nothing good going on with it. <laughs> It's just got a bunch of holes in it. I mean, it's still growing, but I feel like because it's putting so much energy into keeping itself going and because of all the damage from the bugs, it's not doing well. So it's not flowering. It's not getting peppers from all the stuff I read and watch online. I watch a lot of YouTube videos for the garden. A lot of them, you know, most people are getting peppers by now. Even like little ones are starting to grow and I'm not. And that is very disheartening when you put all that time and effort in but I'm hoping they'll come out because I mean it's only today is June 15th so I'm hoping that you know by the time the end of summer comes I at least get some peppers because the onions were sad too I did not get <coughs> onions like I thought it would they just died so I don't know we'll see what happens with that I really like bell peppers and my kids like bell peppers and I use them a lot in cooking and they're so expensive. It's like $3 for a package of three in Aldi and sometimes, you know, I love Aldi. I go there constantly but the quality is not always great and sometimes I miss spots and things 
end up throwing whole things away, like that one bag of onions I had to throw away. It's ridiculous, but you know, it's cheaper than Walmart. You get what you pay for. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, to get some peppers because then I can cut them up, freeze them. I, you know, my whole plan is, I know a lot of people can, I don't. With all this stuff, because everyone I watch videos are like, you know, you're you plant that many green bean plants, I probably planted about 12. They're like, you know, you're gonna get a lot of green beans and we're only a family of five and my mom has three at her house, you know, with her. So I can always give her some, but I feel like a lot of it's gonna end up getting frozen. Um, I got a big deep freezer and I'm probably gonna freeze what I can freeze. Same thing with butternut squash, the yellow squash. If I get a lot of it and it's like, hey, we can't consume enough, it's coming out quicker than we can eat it then I'm just going to cut it up and freeze it. I think that's probably the best plan of action because I buy so many frozen vegetables during the week. And that, I'm hoping the whole point of the garden for me is to, you know, get an abundant amount where me and Chris can actually save money. So it's not just like, you know, I'm giving all my money to the grocery store. And then at least we know where the food came from. It's not like, you know... It's got pesticides all over it. Everything I'm using to treat the bugs is organic. So, hopefully, all that will work out. So, I'm at Walmart. I'm going to go in, get my items. I will come back out. We can chit chat some more. And then, I will take you home and I will show you the halls. It is so hot outside. And I hope you guys can hear me because I did turn up the air conditioner a little bit because I'm like dying. It's like, it's uh, so hot to the point where if you don't have your hair up, like in a clip, I have a lot of hair, it makes me very hot. And it's like, oh, I'm trying to do your hair cute today. Oh, I'm trying to look nice when you go out. You don't just want to look like a messy bun. It's getting too hot for that. It's like 942 and it's already 77 degrees outside. That's ridiculous. live here because it's supposed to be cold most of the year. <laughs> or at least not like hot. You're supposed to be able to get different temperatures. I used to live in Florida and it was so hot there all the time. I could not take it. With my asthma, it is not good for me down there. I had a very hard time breathing down there. I mean, I have a hard time still now, but not like it was then. Uh, it was just so hot all the time. I feel like there was no air to like breathe. But I mean, we're in June. It'll only probably be hot for a couple months. And it'll be nice again. <laughs> I'm all about the fall, winter months. I was looking in uh, Hobby Lobby the other day, probably about two weeks ago. I have to go there again because I need to get more glass for my car since. But um, they already started putting their Halloween stuff out, now, like their fall stuff. More like their fall stuff, not their Halloween. Like the pumpkins, like more Thanksgiving-y fall stuff. And I was very surprised to see that so early because they were doing that like end of May. And I was very excited because um, I like all that stuff. I get excited when Walmart puts it out, but I know they won't put it out until after their after school stuff. So it's probably not going to be until like end of August. But I like to go to Hobby Lobby and get some of our decorations from there, especially when they have sales. A lot of things they have are like 40% off, which is nice. They got rid of that coupon. I used to use that a lot. That's disappointing. But what are you going to do? But a lot of the stuff is usually discounted. Like when I went there a couple weeks ago, uh, me and my mom went, we were looking at uh, like spring stuff and all that was discounted, even when it was still like spring. So that was good. But they had like lots of different stuff and a lot of it was like 50% off. Some of it was 75% off and it wasn't like crappy stuff. It was like pretty nice stuff. So I like to go there and if you can get there when they have like something you want, it's like on sale. That's when I usually buy stuff. Like uh, last year, I love sunflowers and I got this really pretty sunflower candy dish. I don't know if you've seen it in my hall, sometimes it's in the background. And um, that was like a 10, 
$8 dish and I got it for like $4. And that was still before fall. Like usually a lot of stores don't give you that discount until it's like, you know, over. But they do. So that's nice because then you can have like, you can afford things. It's affordable. It's not like ridiculous and you don't got to be a Chauncey lady who has like a crap ton of money to be able to afford to go there. Because I'm not a Chauncey lady. So, one Dunkin' Donuts. Let me get coffee for me and my mom. Maybe they can too because I know he's home today. Their coffee pot broke the other day and I felt bad for them because me and my family, we drink coffee ridiculously. Like, we'll make four or five pots a day between me and my mom, my brother, and my sister. And, uh, it broke and he was pretty upset. She's got like one of those single cup ones too though, so she was making that. But I know he wants to go get another coffee pot. They only had it for a couple of years. So, I thought it'd be nice to bring him a coffee because I'm sure he's gonna want one. Because it's still pretty early. And he's probably still sleeping. So. Mom started talking about getting her pool open. A lot of people up here already have. But it's becoming a pain in the butt because it's different from where we lived before. Opening a pool here is different. So we had to go talk to somebody and figure out how that works because the pools we had before, you just, there's a plug on the bottom. You pop it and it drains out and then you, you know, pretty much scoop out some of the stuff with like a bucket that's left that it doesn't get out. And then after that, you just refill it, put the chemicals in, you know, and that's pretty much it. You can't do that with the pool she has at her house now. It's got, like they said, if you drain it, the liner will be ruined. So, that's just gotta put chemicals in it. Looks like a swamp in there right now. I'm not big on the pool to begin with, but my kids like it. That's why me and Chris don't have a pool. We don't want to deal with all the maintenance, and I'm not home too much. Like I said, I usually go see my mom where I have errands to run and stuff. Or with the kids at the school, they do that at my mom's when they have school, so. Really wouldn't have time to take care of it. The garden already takes up a lot of my time. More than I wish it did. So. Okay. So I got coffee. But it's a lot of coffee, so. My cup holders in the back suck. So hopefully that doesn't spill. Why she gave me three straws when I only got two cold drinks is fine with me though because I'll keep the straw. So, I love Dunkin' Donuts. That has to be my favorite coffee. When I used to work, I used to get them a couple times a week on my way home. that 
purposely leave their dogs out to roam that frustrates me because I'm like you really don't care about your pet and I mean even if you like had to work all day and your dog you know you could have a fence in your yard and leave it outside to go to the bathroom while you're gone stuff like that like you don't have to just let it roam you know some neighborhoods where I live it's like it's terrible they just let them roam and they don't care and like that's so sad but the whole point is the one neighbor they moved in and I know they moved in recently sorry I was looking at a text uh, I know they moved in recently because I hadn't seen them before and uh, he was letting his dogs out and I kept seeing them uh, in my backyard and they were pissing on the herbs and I was getting mad and one of them hasn't been grown and that's where they keep peeing and I'm pretty sure that's that could be a reason why <laughs> and I was so grossed out after that because like my family's gonna consume this stuff and you know I have the cages up for the vegetables I never thought well now with the herbs I'm gonna have to worry because they're on the steps and um but the dogs keep pissing on them so I had to get this thing to try to keep them out of the yard uh, this thing tried to keep them out of the yard because they were just pissing all over the stuff and I'm like that's so gross so um, We got this thing. It's supposed to like put out a little pitching sound that's supposed to make them not want to come in our yard and um, So far I think it worked because I haven't seen them unless the neighbor has realized he needs to keep his dogs in his own yard because he did see me um, the same day I put that out I mean, he didn't see me put it out because it was in my backyard, but I was in my front yard getting ready to leave. And his dogs were in my front yard hanging out. And I was like, you know, what is, what's going on? And I saw him and, you know, he didn't seem to care too much, but he eventually called him back. And I'm like, you know, like I said, I don't have a problem with dogs, but I don't have a dog. I don't want him, you know, pooping in my yard and having to pick it up. It's not my dog. So... I think that worked to keep him out of the garden unless, like I said, he has decided to keep them out of my yard, which would be nice because, you know, I wouldn't let my dogs go in other people's yards. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> but besides that, the garden is doing okay, and I haven't seen any more dogs miss out things, which makes me glad because, like I said, no one wants to consume things that the dogs have been peeing on or cats or anything like that. Okay, so I did my check and I'm pretty sure there's no neighbors out. <laughs> These are our update for the garden. Just figured I'd show you guys. There's all my herbs. That one's doing really good. So is that one and that one. Not so much. That one's okay. The deal's great, but I've already bought that started, so. We'll show you the flowers. Marigolds are coming in. The Shasta daisies are coming in. I planted edible flowers over there. They don't have any flowers on them yet. Here's my corn. Let's pretend there's not weeds all around it. Because I do need to weed it. It's just been raining here like for a whole week and a half. And I'm not sitting in the mud doing that. So I will get to that at some point. A tomato plant my husband got from someone at work. Um, it scared me because he didn't tell me he got it, so I just thought people were leaving random plants in our yard. But they were not. He got one. Okay. I gave up on the onions and I planted butternut squash right there. I mean, I still have a couple in there, but I doubt I'm going to get anything from it. There's our big tomatoes. There's our baby tomatoes. So those should be... Probably ready the little ones sometime soon, I would think. I feel like I've been growing them forever. I know some people might be like, this isn't that exciting, but it's exciting to me. It's exciting to know I grew this. And I'm going to eat it at some point. <laughs> and my family will have it. So There's our yellow summer squash flowers. None that are open yet to fertilize, but... That's okay. I'm sure they will soon. And then we got a baby cucumber. So those are doing pretty well. Some of these didn't get fertilized. And you can see they're going to fall off. And it was either I didn't fertilize them or I didn't fertilize them 
good enough. That's that. Really thought there was a couple female flowers on those, but I guess not. It's the only bad thing about having to have them in the cages is I have to fertilize all the plants like this that don't do them themselves. But that's okay. Sunflowers are looking good. And then our green beans and our purple string beans. There's a purple string bean right there. That can probably be picked soon. You take the kids out here later and have them pick for me. And if you hear that buzzing, I'm sorry. I kept having animals come in the yard and messing with the plants, so I had to get one of those things. But as you can see, there's green beans and purple string beans in there. So the kids are excited. And then a spider. <laughs> and then that's it for the garden. Aluminum foil, because I had no more. Watermelon, because I told you that other one was nasty. Hopefully this one's better. I'm not good at picking out watermelon. <laughs> Some embroidery floss. And I needed this too, but they didn't have a pack with green. Where I'd still get because I need a lot of these colors. Um, some Rolaids because I'm having some terrible acid reflux lately. Uh, the fabric for the cross stitch. I have no clue what this is called, but you know what I mean. That's for that. Hair clips because the girls keep stealing all the elastics. Hopefully these will last more than a week. And mini marshmallows. Wednesday, we're having um, a turkey breast in the crock pot. Turkey is my... Hello, Chaos. Turkey is my daughter's favorite meal, and so that is what we're having. And I'm having, like, mini Thanksgiving, so I'm going to make a uh, sweet potato casserole because I have uh, two bags of, like, sweet potato instant, like, mashed potatoes or something like that. So we're going to use that. And somebody needs to get off the counter. Uh, so anyways, that's what we're going to do with that. And... So I needed those for, I was, I thought I had marshmallows, but I don't have those gross fruit ones. And I use those for like ambrosia salad and stuff. So I don't think that would be good on a sweet potato casserole. Um, besides that, that's going to be it for that. I have family coming over tonight. It's Tuesday. That's the night they come over to eat dinner with us. I am making a big ass piece of meat. I'm going to cut this up and make this in little baby bite sized steaks. And mashed potatoes and maybe I'm not gonna promise anything I might make oatmeal cookies and if I do I might video it but we'll see I I probably won't but maybe all right thank you guys for watching uh, like and subscribe if you like this content and I will be sure to try to be a little bit better with bringing videos on a more weekly basis thanks